Hello, I'm Lynn Pice, a Senior Genomic Analyst at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard. This video tutorial will provide an overview of the Seeker project page. When you first log in to Seeker, you will see a list of all your projects. Selecting one will take you to the main project page. The project page is the main landing page of the selected project. It provides details of the number of families and individuals in the project. It also gives you an overview of the interpretation status of all the cases. You can add additional users to the project by using the Add Collaborator feature. This gives you oversight for who has permission to access your data. Your email will need to be registered in Anvil to have this access. If you scroll down, there is a high-level collapsed view of all the families within the project. In this view, you can see the pedigree, analysis status, who has analyzed the case, type of data loaded, and a description of the family. If the case has been analyzed and variants have been tagged, you can also get an overview of the variants saved by hovering over the saved variants box. Clicking the arrow next to the family ID or clicking on the family ID opens an expanded view of the case. Here you see additional details or can leave notes for yourself and colleagues about the case. If you have analyzed a case, you can indicate this by using the Analyze by feature. This lists the email address of the user who selects it. It is timestamped and cannot be undone. You can select it multiple times to indicate that a case has been reanalyzed at a later date. It can also be used by multiple analysts to create a history of when and who has analyzed the particular case. You can add phenotype details about your case by choosing HPO terms listed in the features section. To add an HPO term, select the pencil icon next to features. This opens a box where you can select from HPO terms that are present in the patient. Once you have added a term, you can put in more information by selecting Edit Details. Here you have the option to add information such as age of onset, severity, and so on. Below, you can add HPO terms for features that were absent in the patient. You can search for a specific family by entering the family ID in the search box. You may also filter and sort families based on the family name, date loaded, or analysis status. The high-level overview of the families displayed on the project page can be downloaded in the format of your choice. Several special features are included at the top of the project page. The gene list feature allows you to create a gene list of your choice or add a public gene list created by another user. Adding a gene list allows you to highlight variants that fall within a defined list of genes when analyzing a case. To use a gene list, click on the Add Gene List feature. At the very top of the page, you can choose the option to create a new gene list. Below this, you will see your gene list if you have some saved as well as display public gene list, which you can choose from. Select the list you wish to use in your search and hit submit when done. All gene lists selected will display on the top left side of the main project page. Analysis groups. An analysis group allows you to create a subset of families you wish to analyze together. This can be useful when you would like to group together and analyze cases with a similar clinical presentation. Additionally, you can also use a specific gene list. For example, select all cases where the program presents with seizures and run a search for genes known to cause seizures. Project variant search. This feature allows a search for specific variants or genes across a subset of cases or across the entire project. Thanks for watching and good luck with your search.